Welcome back, everyone. Here we are. Next best of three and the last best of three for today, to be precise. It's Fazir versus Zeus. So once again, Night Elf versus Ark. And ha, ah, will it be a 5-0 for the four kings? Or are the ninjas in pajamas able to get at least one point? Let's see. No human versus me. So, oh, okay. I just was wondering. Thought he forgot the Ogboro, but build it a little bit out of sight here. So, um, yeah, first map, Secret Valley once again. Bottom left, we have NIP Foss here. Here, our top storms, barracks, and the Ogboro. Top right in dark green, great color here on the mini map, as you can see or probably not see. We have 4K Zeus 19. And um, yeah, he is going for the Keeper as the first hero. Interesting, interesting. No offensive Ancient of War here at the Gnoll Overseer spot. So he is probably going for Hunt with a Keeper. Hmm. What is this? Is it 2021 or 2020? Or is it the year 2006? Not too sure. Keeper first. Interesting. And um, yeah, Fast here is going for the Blade Master. So it's getting even more confusing when Fast here is playing Blade Master. But anyway, second Ogboro is also in production. First Grunt as well. And yeah, Secret Rally, we have seen the map already. And I really, really like those um, yeah, flags they always build in those Walker 3 maps back then. Um, we also had this in the NG1 and uh, with some other tournaments as well where they plastered the map with commercials like, I don't know, something here. And um, yeah, at spots where you see a lot of action. And um, we will take a look at um, some of those games in the future, that's for sure. Like the International Esports Tournament and stuff like that. They had the special maps, so yeah. Will be interesting to see. There we go. Keeper is out. First entangle goes on the grunt. But the Blade Master is close by. So already doing some damage here. Let's see. Yeah, Hunter's Hall it is. With the Ultra Vision upgrade already. Fast here taking to tier 2 now. Uh, second run moving in. Uh, not getting the block here. Keeper using another entangle here. That's this. Also taking to Tito now. Yeah, not too much happening here in this early game, to be honest. Just the keeper. Going for some entangles, Blade Master, and trying to attack the keeper, but uh, yeah, besides that, not too much is happening here. Fast here now going for the first creep camp. He's going for the Moloch Nightcrawler spot, but Zeus, uh, moving in with the Wisp, scouts it, and the keeper is close by. Let's see, maybe he's even able to get some experience points here. The creeps going to Fast here. Oh, the front is taking quite a lot of damage here, but one tangle entangle was not enough to get the kill here. Now the keeper is forced to run away. You are uh, hunters blocking here. Not only one hit here. Kind of interesting that the blade master didn't get the boots of speed just now because yeah, it's past 19 o'clock, so the boots are available. And with the boots, this keeper would have had a hard time, but so far he's able to get away. Tier 2 tech about 60% done for the Knight of Player. Orc Player is a little quicker with his tech. Now getting the Voodoo Lounge and another Orc Burrow. A player's forces are and under the attack. Hunts of Zeus. Well, keep attacking the Grunt here, a Fast here. Let's see, the Keeper. Still without any experience points. Now joining the army here, close to the Orc main base. Or in the York main base, I should say. Blade Master using his wind walk. 
Tier 2 tech about to finish. Let's see what the second hero will be. 40 of player. Probably the Shadow Hunter, I would say. Let's see. Needs to wait for the Orc Borough to finish. There we go. Orc Borough is finished. Shadow Hunter it is. We see the Beastery. And for Zeus. Yeah, with two Ancients of Lore, probably going for Dryads and Bears. And getting his second hero. Getting the Beastmaster now. Quill Beast gets summoned. And yeah, there we go. Two Beasteries. So probably we will see a Wobble rather Player soon as well. Yeah, but Zeus keeping the pressure up here. And with the Entangle, he's able to get the first kill here. First Grunt goes down, so first experience points for the Knight of Players. Oh, Knight of Player. <laughs> and we are six minutes into the game, so yeah. That took quite some time. Oh, Blade Master. Oh, is kind of low, gets entangled and is forced to TP out of there. Grunt's also taking a lot of damage. Healing selves, getting activated now. Blade Master getting another charge just in case. Fast here, scared of the push here, but um, yeah, Zeus, Zeus is not attack. going for the main base. Who is fast here? Um, yeah. The Noi Pogi. It's an old pro. That's for sure. Um, was a strong Korean Orc player back then. Played a lot of Ink Cups back then as well. So, um, yeah. Definitely was a name, but was not able to get the big wins. Like Foff, for example. A player's forces are under attack. Yes, yes. Oh, he's able to save the Quill Beast here. And yeah, Knight of Player finished the gold mine here. But still, only level 1 heroes. Farsi at level 2. With a Blade Master at least. And there we go, there's the Wormel and the next Orc Burrow. They are not going for the you farm can of count on me. <laughs> hey, 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 Armin, thanks for the raid, man. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, once again, time for a big announcement here. Tomorrow we will do a dual cast, Armin and me. We will take a look at some old replays of him and also some uh, other cool games. So if you're interested, make sure to leave a follow and tune in tomorrow. And uh, yeah, by the way, I mean, um, I will message you <laughs> um, on Discord and give you all the information about tomorrow. Didn't forget that, but um, yeah, had some problems with the maps. But anyway, um, we'll get to you after the stream. And uh, yeah, okay, let's see. Zeus is going for an Ancient Protector push here. He's attacking the main base of Foss here. Already was able to kill the barracks. And is now going for the beastery. First Kodo B is about to pop out. Um, but yeah. What is Fast here doing? 50 supply. Eh, just going for another creep camp here. Gets level 3 for his Blade Master. Belt of Shine Strength with the item. He has no TP. And yeah, he used the TP early on. Shadow Hunter is level 2. Let's see. TP back now. By the player. He lost the beastery. But the angel protectors are about to finish. And snares are going off. Entangle on the blade mass. The blade mass uses his moonwalk peons now also joining the party. Healing wave gets used, but the angel protectors are ready, and those raiders are getting focused out like crazy here. And Zeus so far not losing too much here. Next grunt gets killed. Blade Master is in trouble, is revealed as well. And this is not looking good for the Orc player. Oh man, oh man. Scroll healing gets used. Fast here trying his best here. Healing wave gets used on the Blade Master. 
Blade Master gets focused once again. Still visible. 35 hit points. The Hunter moving in. Now turning around, going for the Shadow Hunter. And with the Entangled, this is probably the end of the Shadow Hunter right there. Oh, Healing Wave. Just in a nick of time here. But um, yeah, those Ancient Protectors just throwing one rock after the other, killing one Orc unit after the other. But Zeus also losing some hunts now. So his army is also getting smaller and smaller as we speak, but still, yeah, that's enough to fight the Orc army, that's for sure. Staff now even used to save one Dryad here. And um, yeah, Orc player is trying to expand on the left-hand side, but uh, don't think that this expansion is going anywhere. So let's see, Fossier 23 supply. Yeah, Fossier kind of trolling, yeah, definitely. I was kind of unfortunate that he lost his barracks early on. So some more teams, uh, more teams, some damages would have been nice. Blade Master going in, killing another hunt. Shadow Hunter regenerated some mana points here, so I assume he didn't see the APs. Yeah, probably not. On the radar here, Blade Master getting some more kills. Scroll speed gets used. Blade Master gets out of there. The expansion is up and running. <laughs> but he's about to lose his main base. If he's not starting to repair. Let's see, more raiders now for Fast here. Check top left fountain. Mm, nothing happening there. Okay, main building is down. <laughs> Stupid observers. Yeah, not only players are trolling, the observers are trolling as well. Okay, fast here, 32 supply. Zeus, 56. So, yeah, the ninjas in pajamas, they we're fighting till the bitter end, and, and this trend continues here on Secret Valley. Main base almost completely annihilated here. Peons now moving out. Org army now finally at the Fountain of Health here, regenerating some mana points. But there we go, Zeus moving in with three hunts now, going for the expansion, and the rest of the army is going for the fountain. We see some ensnares. Now the Orc player is outside of the fountain range. Oh, Keeper needs to be careful, but there's a staff on the Keeper. Uh, Beastmaster needs to be careful. Staff on the Keeper, there's an ensnare. This might be the kill, or is it? Where's the staff? Oh, <laughs> staff goes off, and snare was in the air, but yeah. Beastmaster gets out of there. Nice micro now by Zeus, saving his roots of the Telling Healing Wave here by the Shadow Hunter, trying everything he can. But yeah. The Creation, Knight of Player, doing a rather good job here. Healing Wave on the Blade Master once again. Blade Master gets focused. Not too many hit points left here. But yeah, Foss here is at least able to get some kills here. Killing Groot of Talon, one after the other. <laughs> yeah, plus six claws, nostalgia. Even though it's not too long ago, we had those level six claws, it feels like an eternity. So yeah, good fight here, but Foss here. But. The expansion is annihilated. Beastmaster is coming back. Oh, the keeper gets hexed! Ah, almost, almost down! Oh, healing potion. Oof. And there's the GG. Bye!